here's another cool technique you can use in PowerPoint. There are three pretty easy steps. First, find your picture, then frame your picture, and finally, pop your picture. Okay, let's kick it off with the first step. Now when you're choosing your picture, make sure the part you want to pop out has a couple of key features. First, make sure it has contrast. So we want to make sure that it stands out from the background. As an example, this apple has good contrast on all sides except for the bottom where it blends in with the shadow. The second thing we want to make sure of is that the part you want to pop out is complete and not cut off anywhere. So in this photo, for example, you can work with the hand and the two heads of the people, but you can't use the left side of the image because it's cut off. So as you can see, even if a picture isn't perfect, you can still work with certain parts of it. And now that you get the idea of how to choose your photo, let's jump right into the next step. Before we do anything else, let's just duplicate the image and save it for a little bit later. Now give the image a white border to make it look like a photo, and go to Crop, and Crop to the shape of a trapezoid. Adjust the angle to how you want it, hit Crop again, and cut out the top so it looks like this, and you are ready for the next step. For this final step, just take your other image and let's remove the background from the top part. I'm using PowerPoint 2010 here, but there's a way to do it in earlier versions too, as I've shown in other videos. Okay, and this is where the magic happens. Just put the image on top of your frame so that it pops out like this, and you are all finished. See how easy that was? As a bonus, I'll show you just really quickly how to do the side pop-out effect. As you can see here, I just followed the same process in terms of one image on top of the other. The difference here is that you have to layer the two first, then group them, and add the rotation. If you try to rotate the stuff without grouping first, it'll be a lot harder. And here you can just see what the different rotation options do. Okay, well there you have it. Hopefully a cool new technique with which you can impress your audiences. As always, thanks for watching and see you again soon.